and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Just watched this movie on Netflix called The Old Ways. All right, this movie is absolutely predictable. I, I gotta give this movie points though because of what it did with the, the perspective it took to the main character. So this is basically an exorcism um, film. It's basically someone gets possessed by a demon and they don't know why they're being chained to a bed. They don't know why they're being uh, forced to hallucinate all these things. Um, it basically takes the point of view of the person who's having the demon exercised because they're not aware when the demon basically takes control. They basically black out. This movie did that concept that would, would have been amazing. The movie did a few things wrong. First of all, the main character is a heroin addict. Immediately, how much of the population is going to relate to this character? And on top of that, if you're a heroin addict, like absolutely addicted to the stuff, the second you don't have access to it, you would have snapped and because because you would have been looking for it immediately. The only time where they actually did something like that was when she finally got her bag back. She grabbed the heroin first before going for the phone or anything else. But in my mind, I'm like, she would have been showing reactions if she does it daily. She's already gone like two days without her dose. She would have already been being hit with all the side effects. And the fact that she's, uh, well, no, no, normal is the wrong word to use for it, but it's just like, she's, she's, she's too plain. And it's just like, you, you know there would have been signs absolute signs that something's wrong i mean you could use the argument that she has a demon inside of her and it was basically con controlling all that but no it was just immediately the second they do that i'm like oh, no one can relate to this character no one can relate to this snobby this person who literally went against what she was told she's acting like a white person in a horror movie at this point in time she literally went to the danger to get herself killed it was just like, I can't relate to this character. It was hard to really relate to anyone. I basically enjoyed it because of the, the it, it's in Mexico. Uh, La Boca is basically the place she was told not to go. And she's a reporter, of course. She is told not to go by her cousin. She goes to La Boca, the, ba the mouth, and it's basically where demons dwell. It leads to, I guess, the center of the earth where hell is. And the demons slip out from time to time into human bodies. And then she's taken to a lady who knows the old ways, the last one of her kind, to have her exercise the demon. And it's it's a very straightforward as to what's going on. Like they introduce a, a rooster which she's talking to, and immediately I knew what that rooster was there for, so they could see when the demon would come out trying to eat. They did the same. They did it over and over again. All the jump scares were literally. A little too drawn out because when they draw like if they would have done it like three seconds before it would have been more impactful but they just drew it on too long that it felt more like a comedy because you over exaggerate the jump scare in a comedy like if, if you've ever seen scary movie it's over exaggerated all that's always oh, oh, all that's always over exaggerated but it like I liked it, but I didn't like it, especially when, because the jump scares weren't there. It wasn't very suspenseful. It wasn't scary. At a certain point in time, she couldn't leave the building because they surrounded it with salt. So it was like, why did you have her chained to the bed in the first place? What was the point to all this? That would have been an easy way to show her that she was possessed by a demon because salt was in the way. It, it, there's a lot of little things that are just like, uh, uh, great. I don't care. This is terribly done but I like the concept. So there's a lot of like that. And then ha like after an hour into the movie, it feels like a two, two and a half hour long movie. But after an hour into the movie, you think it's over only for, cause the, 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 uh, bro broha, broha. I forget the word. Yeah. The, she, she dies. So of course they're, uh, it, it's, it's self -exp You could see it, the writing on the wall. You could see it happening. Even when like, of course, of course, the girl, the reporter, the heroin addict who has the demon exercise is going to become the new bro, bruja, bro, whatever, the new witch doctor, the new one who teaches the old way, the only one left who can exercise spirits because as she was incarcerated, she read all the books on how to do it. If that's the case, then anyone could. Hmm. Yeah, the more I talk about it, the less I like the movie. That tends to be the case. But the concept was solid. It's basically the exorcist from the point of view of the one who ha has the demon inside of him, the one being exorcised. 
Is that the is that the correct word for it? I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> could have been so much better. Uh, it got very cartoony in the last 30 minutes. Very overdone. Very uh, 80s quotable type situation. Like you can literally say what they're about to say before they even say it because it's that cliche. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.